Alright, hello everyone, welcome to the first game that I am casting uh, in the Regicide 1v1 tournament. Unfortunately, because of the timing of this game, my co-caster could not be here with me, so I'm solo casting this game. But uh, it is a game between Redzalio and Joshua Marie 310 uh, And hopefully this game turns out good. Uh, we've got a series of best of three planned between these guys. Uh, it looks like they have decent enough spawns. I just wish these guys some good luck before they actually get into the heat of things. So off to the left, playing in the green gamma, we have Red Zalio. Uh, and off to the right, playing in the yellow Zeta. Um, I apologize, orange is Zeta. Uh, yellow Delta, we have Joshua Marie 310. Uh, both of these players have pretty decent spawns. Looks like he's going to use this as his power plant spot, which has six connections, and it looks like he's going to use this, which has five connections. Uh, but both of them do have pretty decent spawns with not very long connectors, pretty easy ways to get around. Um, and they do spawn pretty close to each other. In the grand scheme of things, they could have spawned here and here, which would have made quite a long distance and probably for a pretty long game. But this one, they do have a good chance of beating each other fairly quickly right in the center. Um, looks like after the initial power plant here and the initial power plant here, which is what they're most likely going for, uh, they they will probably naturally spread towards each other unless Red Zalio decides to spread out in this direction. It seems more likely that he'll spread more towards the center, where you have these really nice power plant spots like this. And it seems like Joshua's instinct is probably going to be to do the same because of all these areas. So this is probably going to be a fairly quick game. Uh, can't say for certain until they actually finish their first power plant and start spreading out. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think that both of these players have proven that they are definitely good players from the earlier rounds uh, and beating at least two players to get into round three. So we'll see how we'll see how this game goes. Both players about to finish their last factory before going in on the power plant buildup. Uh, Red Zalio having to build one extra factory compared to Joshua, who's only building five factories before going up for his power plant. Looks like Joshua is now building up. Just trying to read the chat here. Yep, Joshua is now building up. Redzalio is now building up, but he does have that one extra factory. So uh, we'll see who gets theirs up first. Joshua, in theory, should have more stored resources, but Red should be building up resources faster with that one extra factory. Both at 7%. Joshua had taken this extra tile just to get around quicker, but actually isn't a factory. He might spread that as his second power plant. That would be a really strong second power plant, touching on three of the same factories, as well as having five total connections. That's most likely where he'll put his second power plant spot. As for Red Zalio, I'm not really sure where he'll put his second power plant. He could move to this spot here, this spot here, uh, or any other spots nearby. He has plenty of decent areas with a lot of connections. All right, both people have their power plants up now and are spreading out. Looks like Joshua is not going to go for this spot as his second power plant, but rather this one, which is equally strong if he can get a factory there. Uh, and it looks like Red Zalio is going to spread out towards the center, just like I predicted. And these players are probably going to run into each other very quickly. It is probably going to be a pretty short game. Joshua starting up with a power plant immediately before building any new factories. Looks like Redzalio is going to take a different approach and go for factories first, power plants later. Uh, going for a chained power plant right there next to his original. Power plant is finished, factories are surrounding it. He's got an immediate strong economy there with it looks like eight powered up factories or seven powered up factories and one powered up capital going for a third power plant there which is a really strong spot as well 
These players are one tile away from seeing each other. Once this moves towards the center, which is the most likely place to go next, they're going to encounter each other. So let's see how they react once they see that. I'm actually going to move down to get a bit out of the way here in case the players spot each other. The second power plant is up, and they should see each other now. Red Zalio should see these units moving, and yep, he immediately retreats everything back, getting ready to getting ready to fight, abandoning that third power plant, going to retreat everything back, and just start stacking right there, which is probably the best option. Now, now it's all the way up to the player's micro and how much they can stack. Uh, it looks like, I would say, well, it's difficult to say. They've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 powered, and he's got 8 powered, but the difference is how many they have powered by multiple. So this one, uh, they've only got three shared factories, one of them being the capital. And in this, he's got one, two, three as well. Not, one of them not being the capital. So it actually could be that red here has the stronger economy. Did I count these correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Nine versus eight. But we got a factory over here. He didn't finish that power plant, so this factory is going to be basically useless. Um, Joshua going for the aggressive push here and actually it looks like Red Zalio does not have the units to defend this he might have units spread out all over the place and won't be able to defend this attack let's see Delta easily outnumbering that by about 200 but he retreats anyway because of the reinforcements on the way Joshua also moving his units looking for another way around possibly looking for that elusive capital snipe the micro on both players going really well. Rizzolio looking to trap that unit, and it looks like it's going to get trapped. Doesn't have anywhere to go after this fight, but it will get away. If he just if he just micros it away, yep, he's going to keep looking for that. He's going to be able to take this factory, and probably this factory, if he's not paying attention. Uh, both players continuing to stack towards the center area, getting ready to try to push into each other. Redzalio does have the shorter reinforcement time from his base right here onto this factory, but he's also in danger of having that factory taken. That factory turned into a fort. Joshua definitely going for the aggressive tactics, trying to just remove everything he can, turning these factories into forts, costing, costing Redzalio as much resource as possible without losing what he's got back here. But he is going to get chased away, and this is actually interesting. He's probably going to lose this... No, he's going, to he's going to continue retreating back this way, trying not to lose as many units as possible. But look at this. Joshua has outstacked and is going to push in and turn this probably into a fort and then continue to push forward. This is a really, really bad sign for Redzalio. Redzalio, making the right approach here, just trying to protect everything he can. He's got the stack here. He's, he's going to take this fight with a fort. And that forces Joshua to retreat. But Joshua is probably okay with that. Oh, 3,000 move, and he's going to go with the fight. Delta can easily win this. He's got the numbers. That, f that fort is not going to work. Yep, Delta is easily overpowering here. Joshua is taking a really good fight. Redzalio really needs to retreat. Oh, but Redzalio going with the artillery. That fight all of a sudden being much better in his favor, but still bad. Still way too bad. If he had gotten that up earlier, it could have been devastating for, for Joshua, but unfortunately that artillery was just so late, and he had way too few units to fight that. And Rezalio calling the GG right there. Game 1 going to Joshua, but remember this is a best of 3. So, Game 2 coming up shortly. I'll see you guys then.